Sorry for the delay, guys. Um, I just, uh, as you can see, with the whole new background, I, I'm back to Pakistan and my home. So, I guess uh, that's the cause of the delay up for the fantasy fights. And uh, I'll be doing the fantasy fights on Monday for that purpose. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get on with the Q&A. And I was surprised that just three questions have been posted. Um, guys, come on. I want to have some more of them. So even if it's the lamest question in your mind, keep posting it. So I guess uh, we'll start off with the Q&A. Okay, first question is posted by A Great Day. And he says, so Sasuke and Orochimaru are heading towards the place to meet them. So who do you think them is? And Orochimaru said he won't, he won't do anything in the war and he's only interested in Sasuke's young body. Do you think he is lying or he's saying a truth? Uh, and if not, do, what do you think he will do when he comes to the place and meeting them and what will he do in the war? Okay, uh, first thing first. Uh, to the reference of them. At first, uh, uh, when Sasuke said that I want to meet the person who knows everything. Uh, first of all, I thought that uh, he was actually referring to uh, Sage of the Six Paths or someone who is exceptionally knowledgeable in like every field of this ninja world and everyone. And obviously that would be the Sage of the Six Paths because he created the whole Jutsu thing in the first place. Um, one more thing is that uh, when he, he stated as them, there were many theories regarding um, Fugaku Uchiha and you know his Uchiha parents, Sasuke's parents, and since they were the head head of the Kujita, so what I'm guessing is that he wants to resurrect them and ask them about everything that led to this point uh, where they had to attack on the Hidden Leaf and Itachi had to sacrifice his own image to destroy the whole Shia clan and let Sasuke, uh, Sasuke and lead Sasuke to the darkness that he is in now and he would want some answers to them uh, moreover it can also be there a reference to the Sage of the Six Paths two sons the one who is the Uchiha ancestor and also the other who is the Senju ancestor I mean only those after the Sage of the Six Paths can have the knowledge about the whole world and all the jutsus and everything so I guess uh, either it's uh, Sasuke's parents or I think uh, it's the Sage of the Six Paths two sons as for Orochimaru saying that he has no in interest in in this war yeah it looks like the it actually looks like that he is not much intrigued that there is a war going out and that might result in um, the destruction of Konoha but uh, for once I guess that he might be a bit afraid since it's allied shinobi forces and all I mean it's just not Konoha you have the sand village you have the rain village you have the mist village and everyone so I guess Orochimaru is on the point where he cannot afford to challenge such a big army so just to cover up the fact that he's scared or something he's saying that he's only interested in Sasuke's body and all that moreover um, if he is lying um, what I think is Orochimaru's next target after, sh after the Sharingan could be uh, the Rinnegan I mean he might want to go towards the Rinnegan and everything um, he might possibly challenge Madara Uchiha uh, despite the fact knowing how immense power Orochim, uh, Madaro has and Orochimaru stands the chance against him. Uh, number two is that what will he do in the war? Um, what I think is that uh, Orochimaru might not enter the war at all. I mean he is the kind of guy who actually attacks from the shadows and only comes in front of the one leader just like Hiruzen. Uh, when he attacked Konoha, Orochimaru only cornered Hiruzen Sarutobi, that is the third Okage. So I guess uh, Orochimaru is actually... You can never tell when Orochimaru is 
lying or telling the truth i mean he can do any of it i mean just being a bad guy it's not necessary that he has to lie all the time he might be telling the truth for once uh, because bad guys usually tell a truth sometimes to achieve a bigger lie so i guess that's what i think of it next question is posted by aj jackson and he has posted two questions so first one is what happened to the one tails shukaku do you think naruto can get some of its chakra um as you as you know that the one tails jinshuriki that is gara is still alive and uh, i guess uh, that's why shukaku wasn't you know put forth on, on the battle line maybe maybe uh shukaku uh didn't you know as you all know shukaku's madman like appearance and all his when he appeared in front of naruto when naruto versus gara took place so we can actually tell that shukaku is that mindless madman guy so i think that Shukaku wasn't rebe wasn't actually put forth on purpose because Toby might have had uh, a really hard time controlling all the five bijus um, and he might not have wanted to go go for the sixth one. So and as for Naruto getting some of the uh, some of the sand Shukaku's chakra, no, I don't think that's possible because uh, Shukaku didn't share his chakra with Naruto in the first place. Although uh, Naruto does have the chakra of every other tail beast with him, including the two, three, four, five, six, seven tails, and uh, although he al he's also missing out on the eight tails chakra as well, uh, if you ask me. So maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But uh, as for Naruto having the one tail chakra, impossible because uh, he never came out in front of Naruto. He never fist bumped with Naruto or whatever. So I don't think that he can have his chakra. But the next question that was posted by AJ Jackson again Could Toby have been a medical ninja? How does he know how to transplant eyes and stuff about the Senju cells? Um, Although, uh, for once, I think that we haven't seen him actually transplanting all the eyes in something. Uh, I believe that was done by Zetsu. Um, we just see Toby standing over Sasuke and he's like, do you want to begin? Do you seriously want to do it? Fine. I mean, we never saw Toby um, with a scalpel. That was Kabuto. So, I guess uh, uh, he's not a medical ninja, but he does have... A knowledge about the Senju cells in a way that like I said if he has inherited memories of people um, he might have known information about the Senju cells as well because of the Uchiha obviously the Uchiha would have any information that would be essential in their battle against the Senju uh, obviously when Toby possessed an Uchiha for example just in case um, let's say Shisui Uchiha or um, Izuna, he might, they, one of them might have known about the Senju cells and that's why that information got transmitted to Toby. So I guess that's the answer to your question. So three questions it was and uh, guys please post more and uh, one more thing is that I'm really sorry about the fantasy fight. Um, I wasn't feeling that much well emotionally and mentally so I mean it's really uh, helping the to see a subscriber comment or like or even a you know increase in number of the subscribers uh i'm just uh, i'm not a big channel but i try all i can to keep you guys happy and all that so i mean it helps a lot guys and I'm, I'm seriously uh seriously this actually helps in cheering me up whenever i'm in a pensive mood or something but so thanks a lot guys thanks to you all for subscribing commenting and liking the video just keep on doing it and i'll, and I'll keep on posting videos that you guys like as for the fantasy fight um i might delay it till monday or tuesday uh, but don't worry it will come out and hopefully there will be two or three fights in it so take care guys tune in again and uh, keep watching me take care guys bye and thank you once again